Nama, the third wife of Adam. In the Zora, the most famous book of Jewish mysticism, we find a much more elaborate story on Nama, the third wife of Adam and consort of Lilith. Story goes that after Cain killed his brother Abel, Adam distanced himself from Eve and remained single for 130 years. During this time, it is said that Nama and Pizna visit him regularly. Nama has a relationship with Adam for dozens of years. So Nama, that is a seductress, has no problem with Pizna also being with Adam. And they have this relationship in three between themselves. They were both having sexual affairs with him all together, and they bore him several children, several demon children. Nama is also the lover and or wife of several of the most formidable angels. She was quite popular with the Watchers. A hidden story I didn't even know about was that Nama was even the lover of Noah. Yes, Noah from the Bible. Biblical heroes she was with include Samael, Azazel, Samyasa, Salomon, Noah, even the son of Noah, father and son. Her children include the Nephilim, Asmodai, and Shedim. Now, before you judge her too quickly, Nama is known to be the embodiment of women's sexual liberty. She brought to women sexual autonomy and erotic rights. There are very few records of her, but she was a very important person and main character back in the beginning. Nama intercepts sexual ecstasy and music. It is said that whoever understands her and seeks her out, she will help them.